Within 60 minutes of revealing this new variant of the Xpeng Mona, they got 12,566 orders. Less than one hour for 12,500 orders. This shows you this car, I, I think, could be a real revolution. And the reason is you're getting Tesla-like full self-driving features in a car costing 18,000 US dollars. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I've actually driven the cheaper version of this car. It's a similar car, but it's definitely nowhere near as good. It starts at $16,000. I've driven that version. I drove that in China about a month ago. And it reminded me of when I had a hot hatch. It was actually a 1988 Toyota Corolla GT. And that thing had, it was very, very low. It had great handling front wheel drive, lots of power going through the front wheels. It reminded me of that car. The handling of the XP motor was shockingly good. I think it might have had the best handling of any electric car that I've ever driven, which is relatively affordable, except for the, the Tesla Model 3, the new Highland Performance. That would be number one. Number two would probably be the XP Mona M03. Anyhow, the Max version of that car has been revealed. And as a result, I mean, it's selling like crazy. You can expect that it would, though, considering the Mona Max, which is the new flagship variant of the Mona, has advanced ADAS, advanced driver assistance, an advanced driver assistance system capable, capable of kind of like, basically capable of full self-driving, not quite as good as Tesla's full self-driving in the United States, but it's very, very good. So this is the first time we've ever seen globally, say, Xpeng, and I think this is correct, a car under 20,000 US dollars with this feature set. This configuration is not available in vehicles priced above 20,000 US dollars that I'm aware of. Now, some people are saying online in forums and stuff on social media, oh, this brand or that brand is going to have God's IC or whatever it's called. But we don't know this yet. We haven't seen whether or not it actually works. You can say something's good and it works and etc. etc. But whether or not it's actually at this level, I think we have no idea. And whether or not it's going to be at this price, we've got no idea. So at this point in time, I don't know of another car this capable in the world that has this actual feature set. It has Xpeng's in-house developed Turing smart driving system, which provides AI-assisted driving without any additional fees or subscriptions. The Max variants are equipped with two NVIDIA Orin X smart driving chips offering 508 tops of computing power. Xpeng say that's four times more power and comparable vehicles. The Mona M03 Max has seamless human machine co-pilot, whatever that means, allowing the vehicle and driver to intuitively share control without system separation during steering inputs. When I drove it uh, in China, when I, I drove other cars with this, other x men cars with this feature, including the P7 Plus and a couple of other models like the G9. I really tested this feature though properly on the P7 Plus and it, it can work well, but in complex situations, you do need to take over. So that's where I think they're at at this point in time. It also features, though, intelligent capabilities, including parking in tight spaces. It'll car park for you and point-to-point -point assisted driving without restrictions or route or on routes or scenarios. And the I've got an XPG6 currently, and the self-parking is great. The, the self-parking feature is really, really good. It'll park for you wherever you want, and that really does remove stress in a parking situation. Now, if you compare another comparable vehicle, the Tesla Model 3, that starts it um, quite a bit higher, 235,500 RMB in China. So you've got to pay an additional 64,000 RMB though to get Tesla's full self-driving software. So that makes the Tesla about double the price, the Model 3 about double the price. That's a big, big difference. Now, Xpeng say that the reason they didn't reveal this new Mona uh, Max version of the car when the Mona went on first went on sale is because they needed time to work on its self-driving, optimizing the system and the underlying electrical architecture to make sure it actually worked and integrated all the cameras and radars and everything else. So that's the reason why it was, I wouldn't say delayed, but it wasn't launched at the same time. Give you some context, CLTC range of the Max version is 620 kilometers. So it's about 500 kilometers of WLTP range for a car that costs about 20,000 US dollars with what is essentially full self-driving software, which does get better 
it's sort of like the way Tesla does over the air updates. They do do those every month and it does improve. In terms of deliveries, the Mona is the most important car currently for XP. In April, 14,210 were delivered, which accounted for 40 0.5% of all of Xpeng's monthly deliveries. And from January to April, Xpeng delivered 61,000 of the Mona, accounting for 47.5% of their deliveries. So this car is extremely important for the company. And seeing as it's been so successful, it's going to make a huge, huge difference. So the actual pricing in US dollars is 18,000 US dollars for the 502 kilometer range version. So about 400 kilometers WLTP. For the 600 kilometer range version, so 500 kilometers WLTP, the price is $19,300, which is a reduction on the previously announced price by three and a half thousand US dollars. I honestly don't really understand how XPeng aren't losing huge amounts of money on every car they sell. They should be, but they're clearly not somehow. I don't know why. You would think. Xpeng's margins are improving. They're getting it doesn't add up. It's like they, their margins are getting better. And don't get me wrong, I'm not criticizing them. I'm just kind of shocked and can't understand how they're pulling this off. But the fact they're selling a car like this that's this good at this price, and it's you know 40 45 percent of all their sales are this car, and their margins are still so high, so much higher than even legacy automakers, is just bizarre. And it does show you how far some of these Chinese car companies are ahead of legacy automakers. Now the base model of this car, it costs $16,500. And that's called the plus version. That uh, has 515 kilometers of CLTC range. If you wanna get the plus, if you wanna get the plus ultra long range version, 620 kilometers of CLTC range, and that model costs around 17, just 17 and US dollars. Now, apparently, the new Max version adds some different colors. They include Stardust Purple, Pale Moon Gray, Star Rain Cyan, and that brings a total of six different color options. And there's apparently more than 50 official wrap designs available. So you can wrap the car. Xpeng will do that for you as well. You can get either 18 or 19-inch wheels. This is not my favorite design in terms of cars that are out there, but it might be the best value car in the world right now because if you consider the fact that Driving your own car is a major pain in the ass and being able to have a car that's relatively affordable that can do most of the driving of getting you to work, park itself and also have this kind of range is there's just, I don't think there's anything out there right now at this level. And it's probably the key reason why they've got 12 and a half thousand orders in less than one hour. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Bye-bye.